Hello, welcome to another tutorial on burn photography. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I process my HDR images, the high dynamic range images out of uh, three bracketed exposures. I'm reasonably new to HDR. I've flirted with it a couple of times, um, but I've been doing it a lot more recently and using Photomatix Pro um, and Lightroom. I'm going to show you what I use to achieve the look that I have. Now I ain't saying that this is perfect, but for me, the editing style that I'm getting out of these, especially out of Photomatix, I'm not the best at it, but what I do um, and the, the end process, I'm very happy with. So if you like what you see, then just you can copy or do something similar to what I do. Um, but clearly this is just a very loose tutorial uh, to show you how I've achieved the end result. Okay, right, let's go into Photomatix Pro 5. The default setting, yeah, I'm going to start off with the default setting. Um, and then I'm just going to start tweaking to what I feel that looks looks pretty the best. So starting off with the strength shows you how much, uh, a lot of the darkness and that you can have on this. I quite like it a little bit darker than that. Yeah, that works for me. Go for a bit of colour saturation. Again, I don't really take massive amount of time on this. Uh, I just tweak the sliders. I'm on, I'm on tone mapping. This is what I always use. Uh, and details enhancer. Again, I mean, some people might look at this and go, oh, what is he doing? He should be doing that, he should be doing this. But again, I do it from all from a visual aspect. I look at it, tweak a few of the sliders. If I like what I see, I'll, I'll carry on doing it that way. And I, the technique first was obviously to do the bracketed shots on my Canon uh, and, and have a great focal point. And I've used the sun coming up and these trees are going to be a bit of um, like a framing for the sun in the middle. So once my composition was right, I feel that like the HDR is going to work really well in this. I've already posted this image on a couple of my social network sites, including Instagram, which is Burn Photography, all one word. Um, and it's got a good response, so I thought it'd be good now just to, um, to do one myself to show you how I achieved that. Um, this sort of plays around the lighting. I mean, if I go all the way to the right, it sort of concentrates in the middle, go all the way to the left, it you know concentrates. It doesn't look as contrasty, but I'm just gonna go like, go like that. Let's move highlights. No, don't want that. White point. Again, this is this is probably this is probably about the sixth or seventh time I've used Photomatix. I mean, great piece of equipment. If you like HDR, HDR doesn't work on everything for me. I think it only works on more like images that have got greater, we've got the detail to come out more. So with trees, plants, um, landscapes, they work, and also architecture. I think HDR and architecture looks amazing. So uh, that's what I normally use them for. I have recently purchased um, the plugin Infuse for Lightroom, which I haven't used yet, but I hear good things about it. But at the moment, I'm going to carry on using Photomatix. Like the temperature, I can either go warm or I can go a bit colder. And because it's morning and there's a lot of there's a lot of orange and yellow in the middle, I'm going to go for a little bit colder just to bring some of those blues back in. Yeah, something like that. Uh, micro smoothing. So if I just play around the slide, I'd see what I get. Uh, I think I was quite happy with where it started with. Definitely like a bit more colour in the highlights. A bit more colour in the shadows as well. Right, okay, I think for me, I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out. Um, I'm going to now apply it. 
and then I'll get another box coming up um, where I can just tweak around with some of the details um, which I do a little bit more because I really do like the fact that when you're getting like trees like this to do a lot more detail don't go over the top and detail which sometimes you can do in HDR but I think a to bring out the details of all these branches it really does make the image pop a lot more so um, I'm going to go on the sharpening tool here and I'm going to pump up the uh, the amount the radius and the threshold probably go a little bit more on the amount um, I'm reasonably happy with everything else maybe just pump up a little bit more and the blue and I'm, I'm going to yeah, I think that's I'm quite I'm very happy with that. Let's see, that's just done. And now I'm gonna save the final image. It's gonna be saving into my folder of the Lightrooms and it will be uh, it will open up in Lightroom. So let's save this as um, this was at Foxton Locks in Leicestershire, but I'm just gonna name it Foxton Locks Tone Mat. Save it and now open up into Lightroom there it is there, I'm going to import it Get that a little bit bigger, okay right okay so there it is after I've achieved uh, photomatics using the three bracketed shots I'm going to now start just tweaking around with some of my uh, settings and sliders I have on the, on the right hand side. And let's have a look at the exposure. No. Because I stick a, a vignette on most of my images, it don't matter to go a little bit plus an exposure, but I'm quite happy with actually the way it was. Look at some detail, of some uh, contrast, just to bring more details into these trees. Look at the highlights. I shouldn't need much tweaking with this because a lot of it I've done it already in Fomax. I keep getting asked on Instagram to do more tutorials. Apologies that I don't do that many. I just get so busy sometimes and it with family and work commitments it's just sometimes difficult to uh, to keep doing them but I will keep doing them as, as much as I can. If this all helps you out, then then I'll keep on doing them. If there is any questions, then just leave me some questions either on here on YouTube or uh, you can email me at info at burnphotography.co.uk or uh, go onto my Instagram account, Burn Photography, or any of or, or my website, which is www burnphotography.co.uk I'll leave all the links on here you'll see them well okay it's quite saturated there in the middle with the orange and the yellow so what I'm going to do I, I, I want this blue just to sort of pop out a little bit more so I'm going to just use the blue slide of the hues and the saturation I'm just going to use the saturation pump that up the blue Gives it some real nice colour. I'm going to try a bit of the aqua as well because there's a bit of aqua down here. I want these colours to also pop. That's the green, that's not aqua sure. Okay, I'm just going to look at the level because it was on a tripod but I didn't have no uh, spirit level with me. So I'm just going to look at this. I think it is actually okay. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay, well, I'll go down for the sharpness. So I'm going to make this a lot more sharper. Bring out the details of the branches, which I really do like. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it looks good. Probably a little bit of noise in there, which is especially around the darker areas. I'm just going to just use two on that. Um, not much. If you press the Alt key and then use these sliders, what happens is that it gives you uh, a better look at sharpness. So if I go all the way up, turns to black and white but you can see the sharpness a lot more in the black and white same with the radius use the alt key press radius it, it, you can see um, how much it's doing 
and also with the detail was the old with the masking and um, you see there if I, if I go all the way up it will just start masking around more of the edges um, I'm probably going to use that yeah that's good uh, I'm going to use the enable profile corrections because I use a, a wide angle lens it sometimes um, just slightly goes in like a fishbowl look at the corners and this pro enable profile corrections will straighten that out sometimes I leave it on because sometimes it gives a better vignette to it or sometimes I leave it off more like seascapes I'll leave it off because it makes the horizon nice and straight then but for this I think leaving it off is a better look which I do like remove the chromatic aberration which I have done but I did do it in photomatics as well but I'm, I don't mind doing it twice and now to put their vignette on it just to sort of draw your eye more into the middle which is where it's going to be drawn anyway but this is my, my, my main focal point which is this center part of where the sun's coming up pump the highlights so all the blues up here stay in instead of them going uh, dark with the vignette so it keeps all that I'll show you again double click so if we look for around this area if I leave the highlights up see how they just brighten up slightly right okay so that's it in its normal um, in its normal uh, ratio but what I, for landscapes I do like using um, a 16 by 9 so if I do it 16 by 9 there you go there's the end result 16 by 9 lovely details in the trees uh, again I've, like I said because the vignette I've used I've, I've drawn your eye more into the central point of the uh, of the image which is what I want the sun's beautiful coming up it, uh, from that morning it was a lovely morning uh, and the colors I mean you're getting the greens you're getting the blues from the reflection from the sky into the water the sun with the orange and the yellows um, it just makes for a nice, really nice, colourful image. And because I've used the three bracketed exposures, I've got good exposure throughout the entire image. Because if I just used a one shot, because it's so bright from this highlight from the sun coming up, all this is all going to be a bit more silhouette. Uh, because I've used the three bracketed exposures where it takes one very uh, high, real exposed shot. So it's very bright, so all these trees will be in focus and in, in uh, the right exposure takes a very dark shot so um, all this highlighted area will be, in, will be there to pop uh, and then it takes a more muted, contra uh, less contrasty look and then stick the three together and this is what you get I think it's absolutely stunning HDR when it's used like this sometimes people can go over the top but I try not to push it too much to make it just to give it a bit more realism to the image you can go a bit too much and if you like that then that's fine but for me I like it to keep as much as as much as natural as I possibly can uh, and I think that's worked for me um, uh, yeah feel free to come over on Instagram or any of my social network sites and say hello and uh, thanks again for watching and I'll do another one as soon as I can okay thanks everyone and hope you all have a great day